Good morning and welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry on this Monday morning. I'm so glad you're able to join Tom and I as we begin our day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 73. Truly God is good to Israel, to those who is, are pure in heart. But as for me, my feet had nearly slipped. I have almost trip, uh, tripped and fallen because I envied the proud and saw the prosperity of the wicked. For they suffer no pain and their bodies are sleek and sound. In the misfortunes of others they have to share, they are not afflicted as others are. Therefore, they wear their pride like necklace and wrap their violence about there like a cloak. They, uh, their iniquity comes from gross minds and their hearts overflow with wicked thoughts. They scoff and speak maliciously. Out of their haughtiness, they plan oppression. They set their mouths against the heavens and the evil speech runs through the world. And so the people turn to them and find in them no fault. They say, how should God know? If, is this their knowledge is in the most high? So then these are the wicked. Always at ease, they increase their wealth. In vain have I kept my heart clean and washed my hands in innocence. I have been afflicted all day long and uh, punished every morning. Had I gone on speaking this way, I should have betrayed the generation of your children. When I tried to understand these things, it was too hard for me until I entered the sanctuary of God and discerned the end of the wicked. Surely you set them in slippery places. You cast them down in ruin. Oh, how suddenly do they come to destruction come to an end and perish from terror. Like a dream when one awakens, O Lord, when you arise, you will make their image vanish. When my mind becomes embittered, I was sorely wounded in my heart. I was stupid and had no understanding. I was like a brute beast in your presence. Yet I am always with you and hold me by my right hand. You will guide me by your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. When uh, Whom have I in heaven but you? And having you, I desire nothing upon earth. Though my flesh and my heart should waste away, God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Truly those who forsake you will perish. You destroy all who are unfaithful. But it is good for me to be near God. I have made the Lord God my refuge. I will speak to all your works in the gates of the city of Zion. Let us pray. Father, in your wisdom, you allowed your son to be dismayed by the prospects of his cross. But by his death, the penalty of sin was changed into glory. Grant that in, on our journey to you, the cross of your son may not be a stumbling block, but a beacon to guide us to that heavenly country where you with your son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit live and reign, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, our reading continues in... Um, in Judges, in the 17th chapter, beginning with verse 1. There was a man in the hill country of Ephraim, whose name was Micah. was uh, yeah, Micah, And he said to his mother, The 1,100 pieces of silver which were taken from you, about which you uttered a curse, and also spoke in my, uh, in my ear, Behold, the silver is with me. I took it. And his mother said, Blessed be my son by the Lord. And he restored the 1,100 pieces of silver to his mother. And his mother said, I consecrate the silver to the Lord from my hand from my, uh, for my son to make a graven image and a molten image. Now, therefore, I will restore it to you. So when he restored the money to his mother, his mother, his mother took 200 pieces of silver and gave it to the silversmith who made it into a graven image with a, mol uh, image with a molten image. And it was in the house of Micah. 
and the man Micah had a shrine and he made an ephod and a terrapin and installed one of his sons who became his priest. In those days, there was no king in Israel. Every man did what was right in his own eyes. Now there was a young man of, uh, of Bethlehem in Judea, the family of Judah, who was a Levite and he sojourned there and the man departed from the town of Bethlehem in Judah and to live where, uh, where he could find a place. And as he journeyed, he came to the hill country of Ephraim to the house of Micah. And Micah said to him, from where do you come? And he said to him, I am a Levite of Benj uh, Bethlehem in Judah, and I am going to a sojourn where I, find, uh, where I may find a place. And Micah said to him, stay with me and be to me a father and a priest, and I will give you 10 pieces of silver a year and a suit of apparel and your living. And the Levite was content to dwell with this man, and the young man became to him like one of his sons. And Micah installed the Levite and the young man because uh, became his priest and was in the house of Micah. Then Micah said, Now I know that the Lord will prosper me because I have a Levite as priest. The word of the Lord. Thanks and be to God. God. Our second reading comes from Acts, the seventh chapter, beginning with verse 44. Our fathers had the tent of witness in the wilderness, even as he who spoke to Moses directed him to make it according to the patterns that he had seen. Our fathers in turn brought it, to, uh, brought it in with uh, Joshua when they di uh, dispossessed the nations which God uh, thrust out before our fathers. So it was until the day of David who found favor in the sight of God and asked leave to find a habitation for the God of Jacob. But it was Solomon who built a house for him. Yet the Most High does not dwell in houses yet with hands. As the prophet says, heaven is my throne and the earth my footstool. What house will you build for me, says the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? Do not my hands make all these things? You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always resist the Holy Spirit, as your fathers did, so do you. Which of the prophets do you do did, did not your fathers persecute? And they killed those who announced beforehand the coming of the righteous one, whom you have now betrayed and murdered. You, um, you who received the law as delivered by angels and did not keep it. Now, when they heard these things, they were enraged and they ground their teeth against him. But he, full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and rushed together upon him. Then they cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their garments at the feet of a young man named Saul. And as they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my, uh, my spirits. And he knelt down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. And Saul was consenting to his death. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thank be to God. God. Our Holy Gospel comes from St. John, the fifth chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, the Son cannot do, any, do nothing of his own accord, but only what he sees the Father doing. For whatever he does, that the Son does likewise. For the Father loves the Son and shows him all that he is doing, himself is doing. And greater works than these will he show him, that you may marvel. For as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whom he will. The Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the Son, that all may honor the Son, even as the Father, uh, as they honor the Father. He who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. Truly, truly, I say to you, the hour has come, and now, uh, now is when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so, has, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself, and has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming when all who are in the tomb will hear the voice and come forth. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. The gospel of our Lord. Praise Thank to you, you, O Christ. 
In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hand of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to repair his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on, on to, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God of power and might, nothing is good which is against your will, and all is of value which comes from your hand. Place in our hearts a desire to please you and fill our minds with insight into love so that every thought may grow in wisdom and all our efforts may be filled with your peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for uh, joining Tom and I on this uh, on this Monday morning. I hope you have a safe and blessed day and hope to see you tomorrow as well. God bless you. Bye-bye.